hello guys today i am preparing moi moi so if you want to learn how to make moi moi then you clicked on the right video so keep watching Alright guys, so today I'm preparing moi moi. Just in case you don't know what moi moi is, moi moi simply means bean pudding. It is made from washed and peeled beans and some other good stuff that I'll be showing to you later on. Moi moi is the native food of the Westerners in Nigeria, that's the Yoruba people. And they traditionally made this dish with the leaf, the one the Yoruba people call moi moi elewe. You can either make it with the leaf or you make it with some metal cup like this but i'm going to be using this muffin pan because i'm going to be baking mine in the oven now moi moi can be served with a whole lot of stuff like pap agidi bread and even cassava flakes yeah it is that it has a lot of things you can eat it with so just in case you're watching this video grab one of those things and imagine yourself eating this moi moi i'm about to prepare Beans is also a very rich source of protein. So just in case you're looking for what to add to your kids' diet, you can use, you can prepare moi moi for them. It is really, really delicious. And I trust your kids are going to like this recipe. So let's get right into the making of this moi moi. I want to show you the ingredients I want to use for this recipe. Here I have my beans. This is one and a half cup of the black eye beans it's been washed and peeled already like i soaked it overnight so i can wash it uh, easily like that but you can soak it for like four hours it is fine but this is overnight if you look at it you see that it's been crushed a little bit because it was really really soft and it's not going to be hard for the blender to just blend everything because it's soft already so this is one and a half cup of the beans now this is the red bell peppers i like to use lots of red bell peppers for the moi moi because i like that color that reddish color is what i really look out for in moi moi and i'm going to be adding some red chilies to it this chili is not very spicy it's like um, medium heat so i'm using three of it if you like your moi moi really spicy you can use the scotch bonnet pepper but this is just fine for me because my kids will be eating out of it and i'll be using one onion for it so i'm blending everything together with that all right so this is the meatball you can use whatever protein you like for your moi moi but i just prefer to use the meatball this time around <laughs> now this is totally optional guys this is spring onions and some red chilies i like to use it because the spring onion still has another flavor it adds to it and also for presentation purposes i'll be using some eggs too that i've already sliced into small bits i'll be using some salt definitely i can't skip salt <laughs> and this is beef broth i'm going to be using it to blend the beans if you don't have beef broth you can use water but beef broth is just really going to enhance the taste of the dish so i like to use this now i'm going to be using some sunflower oil for my there are some people that like to use palm oil it's not bad for me personally i feel like the palm oil just overpowered the taste of the beans. So I like to, to taste that natural bean flavor in it. That's why I like to use the vegetable oil. Now these are the seasoning I'll be using. This is curry powder and this is all purpose seasoning. If you have any other seasoning in mind, you can add it to it, it's fine. And lastly, this is the seasoning cube i'm using two seasoning cubes if you have the fish seasoning it is still fine but this is chicken seasoning all right guys so i'm going to start with blending the beans now when you're blending your beans for the moin moin don't add too much water to it because if you add too much water to it when you're cooking it it might not form that mold very well it might just come out watery or loose so don't add too much water this beans is already soft because I soaked it overnight, so it's not even going to be hard for the blender. Alright, so 
I'm adding the beef broth to it. Now I'm going to cut in the peppers. I'm done blending the beans. I want to start uh, adding all the ingredients to it. So guys, I'm adding all the ingredients. This is the all-purpose seasoning. This is the curry powder. The salt. And I'm going to add some sunflower oil to this. I'm just going to add a little bit of this. I'm going to be saving some for the garnishing. I'm going to add the seasoning cubes to it. If you have fish seasoning, you can use it. I'm going to add some water to this. You can use your hand mixer if you want to. I just want to <laughs> use this for my so guys, I will start creaming the pan now. This is just to prevent the moi moi from sticking to it when it is ready. So I'm just going to grease it with a little bit of the oil. Don't fill it up too much so the moi moi has space to rise. So just add a little bit. Meatball. As you can see I'm done guys it's just to cover this up and put it in the oven to bake it's going to take about an hour for it to bake properly so I'm going to preheat my oven now when it is hot enough then we'll put the moi moi in it for it to bake all right so I'm going to put in the water I added some water into the pan this water will make it easy so I'm going to transfer. Now you have to make sure you keep checking on the water so the water doesn't dry out. The water will enable the moi moi to steam properly and cook well. It will take about an hour. By the time it's ready, I'm just going to put in some toothpick in it to check if it is ready. It's just like when you're baking a cake. So you check if it's ready. But it's going to take about an hour for it to cook properly. All right guys, so this has been in the oven for about 45 minutes now, so I just want to check on it now to see how far it has gone. Yeah! I'm going to cover this up and let it continue cooking. All right guys, let's check on this one more time and I think it should be ready right now because it's... Yeah, that's it guys. Are you seeing it? Yeah, it is ready, guys. Mm -hmm.